What, first of all, were your thoughts when you heard that he had committed this further crime and had been sent to prison for it? Well, it, it just makes you cringe, you know. Uh, like, listen to uh, this stuff in the courts and, the, and what, exactly what the bats are say. Uh, all this uh, paedophile stuff with him and this manual he had, it's just sickening. Mm. I think, first of all, complete respect, and I think Kate and I were talking about this off air this morning, anybody who has a kid, what you've been through, the strength that you've shown, you deserve huge respect. You said something um, in, in one of the quotes I read was that rehabilitation hasn't worked for this human being, has he? He gets a new identity, he's allowed to do whatever. Those images on his computer. What do you think about the world we live in if you're allowed to get away with something like that? Well, it's wrong. The, the laws have got to change, haven't they? Like, like, the laws are behind the times now. And they, like, they need to be looked at, ser seriously looked at. And um, whatever we can do now, it's mainly f f for the public, for their kids. So the, the, the crucial thing that you would like is for his anonymity to be removed. Is, is that the key for you? Well, I, I think that's got to be uh, removed. What do you say to the people who say, and by the way, this isn't my opinion, I'm just going to give both sides. What do you say to the people that if you did that, somebody would take the law into their own hands? Well... Maybe. You shouldn't really do it, but... Uh, um, the, the, the murder that he's on... Is, uh, had it's premeditated, had it, as it wasn't it? Was, and it, it, it's just, it, it's, it's in them, you know what I mean? It's, um... So, what do you fear might happen if the anonymity isn't removed? What, what are your fears? Because you've mentioned well, you're worried it... for all parents out there. What, what are your fears? Well, you, you wouldn't want this person living next door to you, would you? And you'd want, you'd want to know who he is so your kids aren't at risk, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm. But if they're taking that away from you, you, you haven't got a say, have you? Mm. I really struggle with this, you see. I'm yeah. completely with this guy, so... Um, and um, as I guess as a mother, you will be, I know... I mean, what happened to your son was so appalling, it was so premeditated. Is it not true that it was reported that they tried to grab another toddler yeah, yeah. some minutes before? It, it doesn't come out exactly what, what, what they did to him, you know what I mean? Mm. They tell you a bit, which is a little bit. Of quite a lot mm. damage what he's on. 25 years ago you lost your beloved little James. Have you been able to find any joy from the two years he was alive or is it all been coloured by the horror of his being taken from you? Well, uh, is it like that, that, that's all you see. Mm. But unfortunately life, life, life still goes on. You, you've, you've got to function. Um, is it yeah. difficult sometimes? Well, it's difficult all the time, but you just gotta gotta carry on. What do you remember of him? Oh, James. he was lovely. He was always playing. Uh, he was just into everything. And like he, he didn't call call me dad. He called me Ralph. You know what I mean? Because everybody else called me Ralph. So uh, he just knew me as Ralph really. So, but he, he was he was a lovely little child. I just don't know how you can ever imagine that. The, the, the horror of it, and and obviously 25 years, Kate says, it, it never goes. Yeah, I suppose yeah. they talk about bereavement and they say that you go through that whole range of emotions and then you get to memories, but he was sadly taken. And I guess the anger that you feel, the yeah. hatred that you feel, quite understandably, is still there. Well, hate, hate's a big word, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just talking as a father, uh, uh, just being straight. Uh, what do you want from this? If, if, if somebody said to you, Ralph, you... This is the ideal scenario from you in terms of appeasing, perhaps, what well, happened today. What do you want? Personally, myself, I'd, I'd like to see him kept away from the public so, so he can't, can't do nothing to another, another child or... Because uh, if he does, I, I, I don't think I'd be able to... Behind bars himself. for life? Uh, well, possibly, or, or monitored. 24-7, where he can't do nothing. You, you, you've got to keep on top of this person, because mm. he, he's just waiting to do something, in, mm. in my eyes, with this manual. I suppose... He, he's had it for a reason. Mm. Mm. I mean, I suppose some people might say, you are going to feel like that. No one in your position could mm. feel anything other than that and, yeah. and be human and be a father. 
but the, but the justice system has to take mm. that emotion mm. out, doesn't it? And it has to give people a chance yeah. to rehabilitate. And they were very young. They were but just that's 10. the point. He's still doing so, it. Yeah. But, you know, he, he's, he's still, is he's there an it, argument? He's done it twice. It. Twice. Yeah, they, again. So. So, so has the rehabilitation worked for the people who will say he had a traumatic childhood? There were mm. reasons maybe for his behaviour, but there's, having done all of that... There's he's loads still of doing... kids have, have traumatic childhoods. Yeah, I know. And they, they, they don't do what they've done. So... Um, you're an incredibly brave yeah. man to, to come here and, and, and James, I'm sure, would, would look down and be proud. I know it's a, a continual battle, but really appreciate you coming in. Thanks a lot. Thank really you very much indeed.